No one in my hometown seems to know me anymore Every time I call my grandma, just what I'm calling for Don't even get a welcome at the local grocery store No, no one in my hometown seems to know me anymore And none of my ex-lovers seem to pine for me at all they probably wouldn't answer if I got the nerve to call. They won't be there to pick me up should I stumble or should I fall. Oh, none of my ex lovers seem to pine for me at all. And I can't say that I blame them. I did my best to run, to outrun all my history and the damage that I've done. I turn my back on everything I burn those bridges down So why should I be happy Just because I'm back in town I got that line wrong And none of my old friends Want to reconnect or reminisce I guess that they ain't missing All the old times that I miss And all the things we'd ever done just check marks on the list Ah, oh, none of my old friends Wanna reconnect or reminisce I guess I shouldn't blame them. I did my best to run I'll run all my history And the damage that I've done And I turn my back on everything I burn those bridges down so why should they be happy just because I'm back in town? And I guess I should be leaving, there ain't no reason now to stay. I used to be the in crowd, but now I'm just in the way. So I'll pack my bags and turn around and calmly walk away. But I guess I should be leaving, ain't no reason now. Stay. That's my, my friend Kevin, Wing Johnson. Hey BK with BK and Understanding here for another vlog entry. Um, for today's, um, I'm focusing, focusing on uh, my trip to see my friend Kevin Wayne Johnson perform at Waco L Company in Waco, Texas. And just kind of showing you uh, clips from uh, his performance and talking about hanging out there and, and having a good time. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you have not, and please go to our band camp and buy our music to give us some support. And we got some exciting stuff up ahead, which we look forward to being able to talk to you about soon. All right, so I'm gonna move to the couch and we'll talk about some of the stuff I shot. Okay, so here we're on the couch. Um, this is me getting footage, walking in to Waco L Company where Kevin played. Um, Friday night, uh, November, what? I think the 12th. November 12th. Um, and when I was walking in, I just, it was my first time at Waco L Company. Uh, Kevin has been telling me about it and telling me I need to, to call them uh, or DM them and uh, see about playing there, which I, I hope to, that they'll ask me to come play. Um, but when I was walking in, I saw how cool the entry looked at night with all these lights in downtown Waco. So I had the idea to go back to my car and get my gimbal, which I had in the car. And, uh, what you're seeing here is an outtake. Uh, I ended up going and doing it again and got a little bit better footage. I'm going to save that in case we decide to use it later on. Uh, but here's a little preview of walking in Waco El Okay. Let me pause there and go to the next clip. Okay, so here we are uh, with Kevin playing, uh, well, part, toward the end of Kevin performing uh, Tom Waits' uh, Christmas Card from a hooker in Minneapolis. He really likes that song. This isn't the first time I've heard him play it. 
and I had to look up the title of the track. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Tom Waits as a celebrity. I have to admit, I'm not familiar with his catalog, but everything I have seen and heard, I think it's, he's fun to listen to. And great sense of humor, clever songwriter, and clever performer. I've actually seen him more as an actor than I have uh, listened to his music, and he's a good actor, pretty entertaining. Anyway, uh, yeah, I had to. I couldn't want to play the whole clip. I, I did record almost the entire, actually the entire song and playing it, but most of what I got, there was a couple that had come in, and the counter was right in front of where he was playing, and I didn't get permission to uh, from anyone there except for Kevin to be included in my vlog or to use the footage. So I decided not to risk them being upset. YouTube video or vlog uh, without me getting the permission. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick little break. Okay, so here we are. Uh, Kevin is forming his. Uh, well, first he's introducing himself, kind of entertaining the crowd, and uh, but. Um, as you saw in this vlog, I started off the vlog performing Kevin's song back in town, and this is when he started to perform the songs. And then I was still trying to practice with this gimbal I um, and it, it, I had it set on a uh, table we were sitting seated at. And uh, it's, it's a mobile gimbal. It's made for uh, small cameras and uh, mobile devices, actually. But it's a great gimbal, but my camera. It's right there at the limit of the weight, especially because I added the microphone onto it, so it kept malfunctioning. But uh, here Kevin is, and he gives me a shout out because uh, I had posted uh, what you saw at the beginning of this vlog. I originally posted on Instagram and tagged him in it as a collaboration, and just to get people's attention uh, turned toward him, and that he had a show in Waco that night. Anyone who is a mutual follower or uh, lives in the Waco area. But uh, that's that's what this was. Okay. It's a quick uh, clip of Kevin uh, teasing some uh, Oklahoma fans that came in. So that night, um, Baylor was playing OU. And uh, so we're in Waco, Baylor territory, at Waco L Company. And a couple of guys come in decked out in OU apparel. And so he had to heckle them a little bit, you know, being that Waco is his home city. Act like every action matters, and this might be your last time. So wear it out, bring it dry, leave no doubt, bring it dry. Okay, so here I, I'm still messing around with this gimbal. I'm trying to get this gimbal to work. Now eventually, at some point, so Will, die, my friend, well, Kevin and I, his friend, here we are. I did, I'm also doing things like snapping pictures. I didn't even know I could do that with this Canon M50 Mark II while shooting uh, video. Yeah, I don't Jesus recommend doing that if you're wanting to use the video Jesus audio, though, it's true. because it's it will disrupt the audio. You know, I'm messing around with this gimbal, and eventually Will would be like, hey, do you really need the gimbal? You're just setting the camera on the table. And pointing out what should have been obvious, and I felt a bit like an idiot, but in a good way. Like a friend was like waking me up to common sense. Like I didn't need the gimbal. But I think the reason I didn't even think about the fact I didn't need it was because I still wanted to mess around with it, practice with it, because I'm still such a novice with the gimbal, uh, which the footage kind of shows. Um, but anyway, after this, I did give up. It's the whole thing. It's like, you know, you watch TV, you snooze all the time, you eat salad, you drink bad coffee. You never know. You never know. So enjoy a motherfucking salad. A motherfucking salad. Yeah, that is the best kind of salad. That is true. If you're going to get a salad, at least eat a motherfucking salad. So probably the next thing I'll show is the introduction. I've been about to do a cover song. And uh, up to the point where he realizes he forgot the words. And I'll let you see kind of that. It's, Kevin's a pretty funny guy, and he's a lot of fun. He puts on a good performance, and uh, he took requests. That's something I don't do. Uh, so just a warning, if I can play... I mean, if you yell out something I actually know, and could play off the top of my head, yeah, I'll do it. But I don't just take the request, and Kevin does. And uh, that's something he's got on me for sure. And he's entertaining, even if he doesn't know... If he forgets the lyrics, he's still going to have a good time. And that's what I like you know, about watching Kevin play. And uh, anyway. Hey, I don't know where you 
That number 15's getting to my head. This is freestyle. No one's paying attention anyway. I'm telling her. They ain't heard a word I said. <laughs> but will he's laughing right along? I wonder if he knows the words of this damn song. <laughs> Maybe I'll practice a little this time, but that's all right. <laughs> if you're gonna be dumb, then do it tonight. <laughs> if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. If you get knocked down, you gotta get back up. I ain't the sharpest knife in the drawer, folks, but I know enough to know. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. Okay, so other than that, I did get one of his songs full. I got a couple songs he performed uh, fully recorded, the whole the whole performance. However, I tried getting a couple other songs, and people came in. One of them, I went ahead and recorded a song because I was like, I don't know how long they'll be at the bar. And I went ahead and recorded the whole song. But I did get one of the songs where no one except for the bar uh, tender walked by. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, I've showed you some clips and stuff. Other than that, I got some pictures from the night, but I'm not going to put those in here because, you know, that includes pictures of uh, some of my friends that may not want to be in the vlog or whatever for the for this. They hadn't seen the pictures. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please, you know, come see us play. Uh, Kevin's been playing. He's been good about getting shows. Uh, follow him on uh, social media. And I'll put those links below. Um, and please follow us. Um, I've mostly been focused on uh, preparing for uh, a studio, our first studio album that I'm in the works of getting going. And I still have to finish LP3. It's the last of the do-it-yourself uh, albums. So I've been thinking a lot of that. However, I have started reaching out to places slowly but surely about uh, coming and performing. And I have reached out to Waco L Company, and I hope that they will accept and have me come play. I would let it look like it was a lot of fun to play there and the people enjoyed it so I'd love to go and play and it's good to get out and play. I miss doing it. Um, last time I've played was at the uh, Kip, the Pittman Hotel in Deep Ellum and it's, that was a couple months ago so I'm eager to get back and play but I've been staying busy doing other things like going out and hanging out with uh, some Fort Worth bands and musicians and getting to know them and trying to get connected with cool people not just I don't just go hang out with people like I've got a vibe with them and you know that's one of the things I've been supportive of the Denver Williams band and Pete uh, Waringa uh, who's drumming for him and recording his stuff right now because I vibe with them like they're cool guys I enjoy being around them so and in fact they're playing tonight in uh, Fort Worth I don't know if I'll make it but the, if you are and uh, if I get this up in time uh, look up Denver Williams at uh, Maine at Southside in Fort Worth. So Maine at Southside Fort Worth. They're playing there tonight. If I make it, then I will gladly go if I, if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to tonight. But that being said, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Please like this video. Please hit the notification bell. Please do those things that helps. Please do those things that helps us. And we have to get to a thousand subscribers before we're even qualified to monetize this channel, which we desperately need to do. And uh, please, you know, check our music videos and all that. And please go to our Bandcamp page. If you, it, you know, if it's on your heart to support us financially, a real simple way to do that would be to go to our Bandcamp page and buy our music from us. Um, that's just, you know, Bandcamp uh, right now is the best way to do that. Thank you if you did buy our album off of Amazon or Apple Music. But we don't get hardly any of that money, to be honest. And I can't tell who or how many people have bought it. Uh, I rarely get that information, but Bandcamp, we get over 80% of that, so please go to our Bandcamp page, that's an easy way to uh, fund us until we get these other things going, and it's just, we appreciate it so much when you support us and our do-it-yourself uh, beginnings, our humble beginnings, and it just means so much. Uh, you know, musicians have a really hard time monetizing their work these days, um, where everyone's expected, expecting you to give away uh, you know, these expensive albums or singles that you produce for free. 
and making money, monetizing that and making a living off of it's really hard. So if you could spare some money, please go to our Bandcamp page and buy our music. And if you buy it all at once, everything's available today, you get a 20% discount. So I'd highly recommend that. It helps me out a lot, helps BK Understanding out, and it helps us uh, continue to make good content and uh, better content. Stuff's better things are coming. And I'm excited about the studio album that I'm working on. It's going to be really good, I think. So, all right, thanks for watching. See you soon.